So you actually pronounced my name quite right. So uh, Yuval Ben Galim. Uh, and uh, for the next few minutes, I'll be presenting Evogen uh, and how we bring plant innovation and eventually how we believe our infrastructure and our approach can be used for cannabis. Uh, Evogen is publicly traded in uh, Tel Aviv Stocks Exchange and in NASDAQ, so I am legally obliged to have this safe harbor statement. Let's move right along. And uh, so Evogen, we are a beer informatics uh, company that has a goal to bring innovation to improve crop productivity and crop performance. That is a need, that, an ongoing need that will continue to be one and grow as long as we have need to consume food, right? So we are in a very good uh, uh, market. And to understand that more in depth, we're going to look at our end user, which is basically the farmers. Farmers' goals is to make, maximize profitability, of course. And he does so by increasing the crop's yield or reducing the losses caused by droughts or diseases, weeds, you name it. Evogen focuses on these three components that the farmer can use in order to reach that goal. With the seeds, we actually provide improved seeds that have better traits, that provide better yield or maybe resistance to specific disease or, or uh, weeds. With ag uh, chemicals, we provide solutions for uh, insecticides, herbicides, and ag biologicals, although is currently the smallest market we, are, we act in, uh, it is continuously growing and at the fastest speed. With ag biologicals, we actually identify micro, uh, microbes and learn their interaction with the plant that provide what the farmer is looking for, whether it's increased yield or actually protect the plant from diseases. So Evagen, at a glance, at the core, what drives the company is our discovery platform, the technology that will eventually bring the discoveries, the innovations that we're looking for. I'll delve into that in the next slide. We use that platform, that approach, in order to produce the outputs, the, the, the different uh, leads um, in the three domains we mentioned earlier. And we act in the, on the bottom, you can see that, in the discovery phase of the product development. Okay? Once we have those leads, once we have those new innovations, we then collaborate with the top leading uh, uh, partners in the agricultural world, and they take the product downstream into the different development stages. At times, we will identify a specific lead where we will want to take it further than just the discovery phase, we will also do the early development within Evogen, and that is in order to capture more value and generate more revenue for the company. Uh, talking about revenue, then we make money uh, through those collaborations with the partners. They actually pay us in the short term for the actual R&D development that we do. Eventually, once we provide them with the leads, they will pay us for uh, each milestone that they reach with our leads in their pipeline. And the holy grail being, of course, um, uh, some revenue shares with the uh, end product once it's commercialized. To date, we have approximately 180 employees. Uh, we're heavily invested in R&D. And uh, as I mentioned, we are already publicly traded in the, both Tel Aviv and uh, NASDAQ Stock Exchange. So now let's go into the more interesting parts. Those were the dry facts. So like I said, at the core, Evogen has a groundbreaking uh, platform, technology platform that drives the innovation, that actually brings to the world new solutions unknown to date for the different challenges we tackle. Everything that drives us in Evogen starts from science. Okay, so we work very closely with an immense team of scientists. If you've noticed in the previous slide, we have over 60 PhD researchers. These researchers come from a 
vast amount of uh, scientific uh, approaches, scientific fields, starting from computational fields, whether it's computer science or uh, chemi uh, computational chemistry, computational biology, and of course, biology fields, whether it's uh, molecular biology, chemistry, uh, microbes, all the different fields, we have it in-house. Those scientists put together form a think tank, uh, tank that actually fuels our groundbreaking technology. That's what actually brings the innovation, the ideas of how to actually approach solutions, uh, challenges, problems, and solve them in new ways that haven't been done so to date. But having a great mind is not enough. We actually need data to work on. And opposed to the human body, where there's a lot of public data, at Evogen, we will capture all the public available data, but we have put in place the infrastructure and the methodology to actually capture data that is unknown to date, whether it's within the plants, within the microbes, within, uh, and their environment. Okay? We use uh, uh, that data to capture multiple types of uh, uh, data points, starting from the genes all the way to the uh, phenomics and across different sources. So a lot of data is generated and tailored for the specific uh, projects we work on. Once you have the data, you have to make the next step and actually organize the data, put it together that will make sense. Okay, so we actually organize our data in four different databases, centric databases, according to the sources the data come from. So we will have a gene-centric, that's oh, pretty small, I hope you can actually see what's written here, <laughs> but we have a gene-centric database that contains over 14 million genes from over 200 different species of plants. We have a microbial gene-centric database that, again, contains millions of, I think it's already over 200 million uh, microbial genes coming from tens of thousands microbial, uh, micro uh, microbes. And, of course, the chemical-centric data hub, hub containing 150 million uh, mo molecules. And finally, the microbes themselves as their own entity like I mentioned earlier, we currently have in our databases over tens of thousands of different microbes that surround the plants, whether it's in the roots, on the leaves, or inside the plant itself. But that's not enough. We actually, what we managed to do is also find the interconnection between the different sources. And that's what helps us, on one hand, to capture the diversity that exists in nature. On the other hand, use that diversity to connect between the different sources, and those two elements will actually br bridge the ideas and turn the data into knowledge. And that knowledge is now in our databases, and we all, all that's left is to mine that data and find those discoveries. And that we do with our anal uh, analysis platform, we have already spent more than 100 years of uh, building through algorithms, algorithms machine learnings, and, uh, and different computational approaches, a lot of discovery platforms tailored for the specific solutions that we are looking for. So we can actually find new modes of actions, new targets for applying on our challenges, on are different uh, uh, projects, whether it's uh, insect control or traits, you name it, we have it there. But having the lead, having the discovery is just the first step. What we quickly understood is we have to put in place the infrastructure, the facilities, to actually check our predictions. So our technology platform provides us a lot of discovery and predictions for, for new solutions, 
but then we take that into our facilities and actually run validations. When those facilities include everything from molecular labs all the way to high-tech greenhouses where you can actually control every element within the environment of the plant, whether it's the temperature, humidity, you name it, uh, time, uh, uh, hours of the daylight, and of course also field essays, and all that with the knowledge, with the know-how of how to actually create those essays and run them and execute them provides high throughput results for our predictions. That serves as a feedback loop back to our computational platform, even improving further our ability to predict the results of our findings and even optimize those results. So I hope that you got excited as much as I am, because we have an, at Evogen a great asset that actually creates outputs for the different areas that the company is working on. But if you are still not convinced, I'll give as an, as an example our uh, activity in the seed trait domain, which, by the way, is also where we believe we can impact the cannabis uh, uh, challenge. So Evogen has been working on improving seed traits for quite some time now. Uh, ever since it was established, it's over the 13 years. Uh, we have multiple projects in this area that cross different uh, traits types, starting from yield and also uh, covering uh, insect resistance, disease resistance. It crosses multiple crops. We have applied this approach for soy, for uh, corn, for rice, cotton, uh, and other uh, crops. And through those years, we have established a substantial uh, um, portfolio of um, genes that are patented. We have already four, over 4,000 genes under uh, patent. 1,000 uh, out of those 4,000 are currently in our partners' pipelines being validated by our partners. Okay? And, uh, What's even more impressive is that we actually, if you don't, don't believe my, I, I work for Evogen, don't believe me, that's why we have our partners. We have collaborated with all the top leading companies in the ag world that cover over 80% over of the seed market. So the leading companies know that if they want to make the next breakthrough, they have to work with Evogen in order to reach that breakthrough. I'm here I'm going to give you two examples of things that we can actually talk about today. The rest, uh, uh, we have more examples, but uh, they're not public yet. On your left, you can see a PR that we, uh, ha that we have with uh, um, our project with Monsanto that actually they announce that genes discovered through our uh, discovery platform actually resulted in positive results in their field tests in 2015. Okay, so what that actually says is that our computational platform identified uh, uh, which parts, which genes within the plant will impact the traits that Monsanto wanted to improve. And they have now it in the field that it's actually working. That's from 2015. Of course, these genes were advanced within the Monsanto pipeline and were in the field in 2016, and we are actually waiting any week now to get the 2016 results for these same genes. On the right, you see another project, the Insect Control Project, where again, you can see that our uh, uh, prediction, uh, prediction uh, platform has provided us with new targets that will be toxin for these specific diseases, uh, th these uh, insects, sorry, okay? Now, what's special about this, and, and we found a substantial number of leads that we can take further down the development path. But what's special here is that this is an internal program, and it's a rather new internal program. Okay, so it's, uh, we launched it about two and a half years ago. In those two and a half years, we have built in-house both the data collection 
to run this program, the computational platform to actually create the predictions, including the microbial uh, uh, database I mentioned earlier, and eventually got the results and ran them in our validation systems. And here you see the resu results here. In just merely two and a half years, we've done all that work. And that proves to us that what the, our approach actually works when we move it between crops and between traits. So basically, I see my time's running up. <laughs> OK, we'll do fast forward. <laughs> so basically, what we're trying to say is that we have, over the years, established a lot of infrastructure, a lot of know-how to take traits, phenotypes, and the chip of them understand which gene elements impact them, we have in place the different facilities, the technology platform, and the validation systems that fuels this and actually improves it over time. We took that, those capabilities and applied them across different crops. crops. And now we are looking where can we take that knowledge, that abilities that Evergen has, and where can it expand further. And that's where cannabis comes in. We believe that we can take the same approach towards cannabis. This slide is actually redundant for this audience. You're talking about it for the last two days. We are, everyone acknowledges that cannabis is becoming a very a major market commercially for these types of solutions. In our approach, what we're looking at is, uh, again, we're no experts in cannabis, but talking to the experts, listening to the speakers here today and yesterday, we all acknowledge it that, we are, that there is a need and we are looking for finding ways to create stable genes that provide a predefined metabolic profile. Those strains will then be used for different specific diseases. That's where we want to come in and provide the same approach, providing the discovery phase for that, uh, uh, for, for finding those strains and, uh, uh, for cannabis and we're actually now looking for a potential partner that will take that further. At the moment, we're initial dis discussions with Canagen that I have talked here, I believe, yesterday afternoon. So to put it all together and, and finish with that, <laughs> okay, uh, we are leveraging the fact that there is a huge variety of strains of cannabis out, out there that can provide the data we need for our systems, Whoops, wrong way. Uh, we have the uh, medical requirements that, we're, that are actually the targets that we are looking for. And we believe that our technology, our platform, can give the, not only the ingredients, but also the recipe on how to then generate those stable strains, whether it's through genomic-driven uh, breeding or more advanced biologi biological uh, techniques like uh, GED or GM. I think I'm way out of time, so... Uh, okay, um, basically, the, just to wrap it all up, what we believe is that we found a great fit here with one, Evogen providing a top-notch platform for discovery. Uh, two, we have proven record in uh, traits improvements in different crops. Three, there is a market with cannabis. And four, there is a need to improve traits with cannabis. Those are the four takes I would like you to take home with you today. Thank you.